Hi study chairs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi and welcome. I am Michelle and I am the Baby Witch Dent Adult and I'm here with your weekly reading. So before anything, I want to make sure that you guys know that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided, everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles could be reversed between you and your person, which that means that it could be the other way around. So with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Let's start with your past, Sagittarius here. Um, I have questions about why do I do past. Is because, you know, I don't know everybody here, you know. So I have to understand what's going on or what happened. And at least for me, it helps me better to understand everybody's story. So that is why. It's not always for you guys. It's more sometimes for me to understand what's going on. But I always do it because some people do enjoy that too. So everybody wins. So with that said, let's take a look what happened in your past. We have the five of ones. This is Leo and Sagittarius, such as yourself. Then we got the ten of ones, more of your energy. Then we got the page of swords and the reverse. Okay. We have the eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the nine of ones. Okay. The justice here, Libra energy, and this... Um, Ooh, four of swords so oh my goodness I, okay so I feel like there was an argument there could have been an argument that happened um, I want to say it's not just love here is um, with family or friends it was because of someone for like somebody that you were dating somebody that you liked and i don't know why i think people were uh giving you opinions about them and you did not like what you were hearing and that caused like you arguing and i'm not talking about physically i'm talking about more verbally like talking like defending this person and maybe people giving you um opinions about this person or so and then it was like back and forth with them for some of you with the ten of wands, I feel like in the reverse, I feel that like you dis distance yourself from that that kind of energy. You distance yourself from that kind of people. So if it was friends from since childhood or some sort of family member, it felt like toxic or it felt toxic at that point, and you decided to like you know step away from them, step aside, and walk away from them because it was too much and it was too much drama to handle. With the page of swords right here you wanted to reach out sometimes to them to talk to them because you miss them but you stopped yourself because you said to yourself that okay so if we were both in the wrong we could both try to reach out and just try to make up but i feel like this person or whoever you you know had the discussion with uh did not reach out so it was like pretty much in limbo with the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles right here even i don't know what's what's going on but i feel like after that situation um Everything felt like it was going bad, like money-wise was going bad. Maybe the relationship that you were in went, went bad too. And I feel like bad for me, it's like it did not end well. Like things just got worse after that situation. And with the Nine of, of Cups right here, for some reason you close yourself completely. My goodness, from uh, emotions, like emotionally you close yourself completely. I feel like this person that you were with... Um, all this effort, all this uh, defending them, like telling people that they were wrong about this person, like pretty much bit you and they ask because I feel like you found out something about this person or something did not work. And maybe it was not entirely what they were saying, but it was something around those lines. And it was something that it's hard to accept and hard to to pretty much admit to people, you know. And that happened to you that you actually closed off emotionally you're really careful with who you date and you're careful what you how much you share with people about your situation you, it's like you are really careful how much you tell people about your relationships because it could be something that happens quite often like a pattern or it could be something that just happened and it's like you learn your lesson from that you know like you don't now you don't want to be too open about how you feel towards somebody and you don't want to like blaster your relationship online or sorry I had it here um blast your relationship like too openly because you're like hmm what if they're cheating on me or something you know what I'm saying 
right now you're really with the justice card right here you're really really careful and you're like you know i'm gonna make sure this is legit i'm gonna make sure this and that so you are really closed up really guarded up i understand why and you are really careful and how much you um express to anybody so that is me understanding you why you are like that so let's see now what's going on with your person what do we need to know for sagittarius here what do we need to know for Sagittarius here? I'm sorry for the delay on the videos, by the way. I'm a single mom, and I'm trying my best here. You know, I do uh, do YouTube. I do TikTok. I have a business, a tarot business, which I do personal readings as well. And I'm also, of course, before any all of that, I'm a mom. So I'm trying to balance it out. Um, but again, I do apologize. I should, uh, I should uh, catch up with the new videos on Saturday most of them at least so what can you give me for Sagittarius please and thank you so we go happiness is on the way and like I told you before like it felt like everything was going wrong and going bad at one point like nothing was working out and everything was going like not the way you want it but look at this happiness is on the way there we go okay I'm not a toy so stop with the games just tell me what's going on this comes from your energy right now you don't have the time and energy to spend on people who want just to be in your life for a second and then leave right now you want actions you you, you want somebody that tells you what they want you want a relationship okay you don't want to okay you know you don't want to be string along anymore okay let's see one part of the time please and thank you okay we got it's hard to believe that you really like me. I feel that also the situation that happened in the past also uh, pretty much hit your self-confidence here. And if this person, that whoever this person comes is coming into your life because I feel somebody's coming in, it's like you are really doubtful that this person really wants you. Or this could be whoever comes around that you have this doubt of like, what if they, they're here to hurt me? What if they don't really like me, you know? And it's understandable you have you went through something really serious so we go like sometimes by losing is the only way to win then we got no matter how much you want them remember that they have to want you too then we have stop playing and be mine <laughs> then we go find your worth and then we go stop playing stop playing games with my mind I can't do this anymore and not gonna lie it does hurt when I think about you and at the bottom here, a cheater will be always a cheater. So I feel like, yeah, this situation with that past person, you know, when you put yourself out there, when you uh, believe everything they said, when you defended this person from other people's opinion, and this person proved you that you were wrong in a way, um, they hurt you a lot. So right now, you are really guarded up, but you are really extremely hurt. And it's really hard for you to open up. And I feel so bad for you because... You are such a beautiful energy, and you're so closed up. So let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius about this situation? What can you give me about this about Sagittarius situation? So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in reverse right here. So there's somebody. Um, let me see. Let me let me just double check you before I open my mouth more even more. So we have here the high priest. Okay, we have the page of pentacles in the reverse the high priestess and um pisces energy i'm sorry i just want to speak spanish so bad i don't know why i'm puerto rican by the way people keep telling me if i'm from a different country i'm like no puerto rican <laughs> we have the hero font in the reverse then we got the seven of cups in the reverse a lot of reverses and then we got ace of swords in the reverse at the bottom here we got the king of pentacles right here so there's somebody wanting coming to come into your life i feel it's that same person that proved you wrong like you know how people is like some people when they do you wrong um and they discover that they can't find something better than you because you were the whole package they come back around like and that is what happened most of the time sadly i even experienced that in real life a couple of times i'm like what do you want bro like really so we got the three of pentacles and the ten of cups uh in the reverse so this person is coming back around uh wanting to hey how are you uh do you want to hang out do you want to see i want to see you um i missed you you know that kind of situation here like like 
playing the victim in a way. Um, with the Ten of Cups in the reverse right here. Again, they found out that all these options that they were playing with or talking to cannot compare to you. They did not find what they have with you with anybody. And they're not really happy. So they want to come back to Sunny Chairs because they miss you. Uh, this could have been a marriage as well. Like I said before, this could have been a marriage, you know, that you were with this person. And this could have been a long-term relationship, something that was you were really serious about. And, you know, they did not appreciate you, appreciate the connection that you both have. And ha whatever happened, happened. And now they're back wanting um, a second chance, wanting to talk to you. So, because they're not really happy. With the Page of Pentacles right here, uh, you're not really um, excited to see them. To be honest, you're not really excited. You are more about like being confused, like what do they want? Um, is is there anything behind this? You know, like you're not really taking their hello or their message, whatever it is that they do. Uh, it could be they could pop in your work, uh, your where you work at or where you live. Um, it's not gonna be something you're gonna be really excited about. It's more about like, hold on, what do you want? You know, like <sighs> what do you want? You know, with the high priestess right here. You are really, really extremely um, connected right now. You are using your intuition like that. You're like, nope, I don't want just words. I want actions. So you're like your third eye open. And it's like you could see through people now. And also there's a lot of fear in you, which is understandable. But um, you're like, what do you really want? It's like you could see through them. You know, you know that there's something that they're not telling you. With a hero fun right here in the reverse, you realize that maybe this connection was not as strong as you thought it was. You know, maybe it was something that, you know, you loved. You loved this person at, the, at that point. But it's something that it seems to be that you're getting over with. And with the seven of cups right here in the reverse, it's like right now you have other options. You realize that you have other options. Like other people are trying to get to know you and they're interested in you. And they're actually pretty, pretty blunt about it, you know. And with the ace of swords right here. You're really not even taking anybody right now. You're just getting um, settled. You're just, you know, trying to figure your life out. And you're trying to get to know people. You know, you're not really stressing out about anybody. And I feel like you're not going to be, again, you're not. I don't see, I don't feel excitement when you see this person, you know. So, no, you're not going to be excited when you see this person, you know. So what is this person's real intentions with Sagittarius Spirit? What is this person uh, through, uh, true intentions with uh, Sagittarius Spirit? What is their true intentions? So we got the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Oh my goodness. It's like they want to come back to you again like nothing happened. Um, things did not went well when they left you, when they did what they did. Things did not end up well for them. They're alone and broke. They're alone and broke. Um, just be careful because um, if you were to get back together with this person, make sure my, my mic is falling today. I don't know why. Make sure that this person is clean. And I'm talking about uh, diseases, you know, like if they were sleeping around, you know, Make sure that they are clean, okay? I'm not talking about anything besides sexual diseases, okay? I want to be careful with what I say. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Make sure that they're clean, okay? With the six of ones and the four of ones right here, again, that they had a lot of, like, fun with other people. They did what they did with other people. They were not really serious about nobody. Um, with the ace of ones right here, uh, they were actually being really liked with their commitments. They were just having sex, pretty much hooking up, like casual sex and stuff like that. With the strength card right here, they that why am I telling you about making sure that they're clean? Because they stopped being careful. They stopped being careful, and with the eight of uh, pentacles in the reverse, um, this re this is representation sometimes about when it's in reverse, right? About being irresponsible. So they were really irresponsible with their money, with their body, with everything. So that's why I'm trying to say, like, be careful. Make sure that you you find all the information. Right now with the Ten of Pentacles right here, they see you as their only escape or their only choice right now. Because with the Nine of Swords right here, something that they did, 
I feel it has to do with all the people that they have fun with. Something went wrong. Something is not right. Something is not right with them. And they want to come back because they feel desperate. They feel desperate here. And like I said, I don't see love here. I see more about rescue me kind of situation. With the Ten of Swords right here, they feel betrayed. They feel bad. They feel embarrassed. They feel humiliated for some reason. That's why I'm telling you. Make sure to find all the information. What is that they want? Because I see something. It's not up. I, like I said, I don't see. I don't see that it was uh, that they missed you because they loved you. No, something like this is the consequence of their actions. Speaking louder and louder by every day. And that's why I see like you asking them like, oh, I'm not. Just tell me what you want. Like, tell me, be honest, because you know, like, that's why the, the intuition card was here, which is the high priestess, because it's telling you that it's also, by the way, Pisces energy, and then I saw Scorpio energy, I don't know if I said it, if I did, sorry, I forget quick, so, um, that's why the uh, intuition card is there, because, it's like, you know there's something else besides, oh, I missed you, or I'm sorry, you know that there's something else, and you want to know before it's too late, because you don't want, you don't have time for them, two ways and you don't want that anymore so you're like tell me what it is so i can tell you what's up what are they hiding what are they hiding from scorpio i mean i'm sorry <laughs> what are they hiding from sagittarius here spirit please and thank you what are they hiding what are they hiding we got a very go here so yes they're hiding something they're hiding something we got the hermit card here and that is Virgo energy the tower moment scorpio energy So something happened, there could be that they're homeless, there's something that they are in big trouble and they need help with. They are in big trouble and they need help with, it could be that they lost where they live, they might have, be homeless, or they could be very sick, very ill. So that's what I'm trying to tell you to be careful, to make sure to find information. The chariot right here, cancer energy, and they need a response quick, they need a response quick they need to know what you to move quick that's what I'm seeing here and that is gonna feel overwhelming to you with the full right here in the reverse Aries energy and the nine of swords like I said before there's something that is not letting them be free or be as happy as they used to be something is keeping them stuck something it is and it could be like I said being homeless it could be a health situation here that is making them feel really stressed out and they need help with they need help with something I feel like they were really care careless they were careless and something I feel like it's more about health related they need help with that I'm not sure what it is like I said before it could be all related to all be related to money at the end of the day but there is a intention there is a meaning behind why they're reaching out it's not just because they missed you it's more about convenience when it comes to them so you have to be careful. oh look at this at the bottom of the deck it was nine of cups right here you see this there's not a real emotion here it's not like they're actually really in love or it's not like they can't see you with nobody else this has nothing to do with emotions here this is more about convenience this is more about their money their convenience so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep on saying be careful with this, okay? They hurt you once. Don't let them hurt you twice. So what is the outcome in between Sagittarius and this person? What is the outcome here? We got the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius in the energy. We got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Look at this. The Tower again in the reverse. You see, you can't even make this up. We got the Eight of pentacles again in the reverse look the ten of swords right here scorpio energy again the nine of wands in the reverse at the bottom here we got the five of pentacles and the three of wands and the two of wands so i feel like they need money like i said before they need money for something with the nine of wands and the queen of wands right here they're coming back in because they feel like you know that you still love them and that they still have a chance to you know get back with you or to get what they want um, but they don't know that you are not going to take them back. You are really guarded up. You really have this big boundaries. You have this very, very, very big wall that <coughs> they will have to pretty much climb 
to get towards you. The tower here and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, they have an issue with money. Um, for some of you, this person owes money, big money to somebody else. And they, I don't know why they're going to reach out to you, but I feel that you are the only resource that they have. And also, others of you, this person is homeless. And they don't have money, so that is like they're coming back to see if you can actually help them out. So don't be surprised if they ask you for legit money. Like, hey, how are you? Hey, quick question, because this person has no shame. Uh, this person is really immature. This person has issues with how they manage their money. They're not very good with managing money. And they're constantly asking for people to give them handouts. And people seem to be really tired of it. And that's why they're reaching out to you now. Be like, let's see if Sagittarius will give me some money because nobody wants to give me money. So let's go if I can get Sagittarius to give me some money. And I hope you don't. Because this person, look at this ten of swords right here. This person will hurt you again. This person is not going to change. This person has not changed. This person is not willing to put the effort because their intention is not to fix anything. Their intention is to get in your head to get what they want from you and they're going to leave like that again. So don't let, like I said before, don't let this person uh, play you twice. Like I said, this person has a high chance that they're going to hurt you again. They will hurt you again. And this time it's going to be really bad if you let this person come in to your life. With a nine of wands right here. Um, I would not trust this person. If your intuition and your guts are telling you that this person is not no good, it's because they're not good. Because they're not no good. Oh my god, the wig here. Uh they're not they're no good here. So they're gonna make they're gonna play it like, oh no, it's because you're too afraid. Oh, it's because you're crazy, you're actually exaggerating, you're making a big a big deal out of things. It is not. You're actually fine. They're not. Look at this. My mic again. Um, they're not actually. They have no good intentions here. They have really bad intentions. They're using you. Literally using you. Straightforward. You wanna why are they using you for? To get money, to be to uh get housing, to be comfortable, to figure whatever it is that they need to figure it out. That is all they want. Means to an end. So you got to be careful with this person because, like I said, you're not a game. You don't need to let this person play you. You don't need to. You, need to, you don't need to. Do you don't need to let this person out play you. You don't need them. There's some good things coming your way. This person is not worth a penny. This person is not even worth a second of your time. Look at this. Five of Pentacles. They're homeless. They have nothing. They have prob problems with money. Some other ones have problems with health, and they want you to help them. With the three of ones right here, look at this. Whenever you get, whatever they get from you, they're leaving. Three of ones. They're and their head is like, it's not permanent. It's like temporary. They're with you temporary just to get something, and then they will leave. And with the two of ones right here, it's a fact. As soon as they get whatever it is that they want from you, they'll leave. So. What is the outcome? No, you guys are not going to end up together because this person is going to take something and boom, disappear again. And you will have to pick up the leftovers of your heart and put them back on together the best way you can. So again, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Be careful. Find all the information. Don't fall for that again. Don't fall for that. Again, you fall once. Okay, you fall twice. That's on you. And I know I get people saying that, oh, just be more kind. I am kind because I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what's up. But, like, I am who I am. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm this, this is my personality. I'm a really sweet person. I'm a really kind person. And the way that my cards are telling me stuff, I'm watering it down. Like, I'm putting it, like, nicer than the cards are telling me. And what Spirit is telling me, is straightforward and I'm trying to make it sound like a little bit more um, manageable you know not adding not taking but changing the words so it does not sound so harsh so let's see what is in a uh, Sagittarius career now what can you give me spirit for Sagittarius career we got the five of swords the empress right here so somebody at work is jealous of you somebody that you work with is really jealous of you this could be a manager with a five of swords this could be a co-worker and uh, you could actually be working there for 
less time than them and for some of you you are a candidate for a promotion or you're getting more hours than them or you're getting um more responsibilities and that's making them really jealous and they are going to try to sabotage your blessings so just be careful with this person do not trust too much to this person do not talk too much too extra about your personal life around this person um this person um the same way they talk to you about other people they do the same about you with other people so be careful that somebody's really jealous of you at work somebody that you know that you talk to or that you talk to more often it could be the person that trained you like i said before or a man a manager you know so let's see what else what else the hero fun right here yeah you better be careful somebody's really jealous of you yeah the hero fun right here uh you actually are like a threat like you are competition people see you as a competition here because I don't know what is happening, but there is somebody's talking about you to get you a promotion because they see you that you have potential. You have a leadership potential and they want to give you a promotion and offering you a, for example, a manager job or supervisor job or some sort of like promotion. And that is going to cause a lot of talking. That is going to cause a lot of envy and a lot of jealousy. And a lot of people are going to be mad at you, but don't be upset. Don't be too stressed about it. Because your blessings are your blessings and nobody should make you feel bad because you're blessed. Look at this. The ten of pen I mean ten of cups right here. And the two of cups right here. So other people are gonna be really happy about it. Other people are not gonna be happy about it. So your best friend from work or whoever you confine a lot, that is the person that's not gonna be really happy about it because they feel that they should gotten that promotion because they train you or because they've been there for longer. But look at this, you're gonna get an amazing promotion. And a lot of people, like I said before, talk about you, talk about how you work, how much uh, impressive, impressive uh, working skills you have, how responsible you are. And they really like your work. They really like how you how you work and how you do things. So be expecting um, soon that sooner than expected a really nice promotion. I feel like October is gonna be the month for you for that. Um, um, yeah, October. I feel that. And with the five of pentacles right here. Can we clarify the five pentacles? Let me see what is that about. We clarify that. Thank you. And the nine of pentacles right here. Yeah, they're going to make you feel bad. They're going to make you feel bad. Someone's going to make you try to feel bad because of that. And they're going to be like, well, I work so hard. Da -da 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 -da. It's not your fault. Like, you are going to be blessed. And a lot of people are not going to like that. You see that? A lot of people are not going to like that. And they're going to actually be talking about you behind your back because they feel threatened by you because they feel like they should have gotten that promotion. But like I said before, do not be feeling bad because you, you did not force anybody to give you anything. You were chosen because your hard work show, showed how much you deserve it. So, yes. Don't be, don't be feeling bad for that. But yes, you guys are going to get a promotion here. I don't see a new job or a new relocation here. I see more about you getting a really nice promotion that's going to bring a lot of money. It's going to help you support your family and you're going to be really, really happy about it. And I see month number 10 or 10 weeks from now. It could be, again, 10 weeks from now or October. So let's see what we got for new love here for Sagittarius and new love for my single. So this is for both of you people. Ooh, we got judgment card. This is Libra energy for me. We got again the strength card in the reverse, Leo, the hangman, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. <laughs> Sorry, the five of wands in the reverse, and the justice card, a Libra energy here again. Four of wands right here, and the star card at the bottom of the deck. This is Aquarius energy, Leo and Sagittarius, and look at that Scorpio energy here. So, um, your ex is going to keep on bothering you a little bit here and there because they're, like, upset that you might have moved on. Don't understand why, but that's what I'm getting from that card. With the Judgment card and the Strength card right here, um, and the Hitman, there's going to be an important announce that is going to take you unexpected. You're going to be like, whoa, what the heck is going on? That is on the side note. For, uh, now going back to love, uh, you're going to be meeting somebody new. This person is... Uh, I feel like you're going to meet this person at work. This person is from work. And this could be a new employee that 
that's why it's so shocking because it's somebody that you don't know yet but it's a new employee coming your way and you're gonna be really shocked because you're gonna be really attracted to them and the same thing will happen to them but just letting you know you're gonna be extremely attracted to them uh you're gonna feel really insecure around them like they're gonna make you feel nervous not insecure but more nervous that's the word you're gonna feel really nervous and if you are really confident they're not gonna make you feel as confident because you are getting nervous around them because you really like them right with the hangman right here this is something that you haven't uh, felt before it's something kind of new and you're gonna be like oh my god what is this like i have never felt like this before you think you have everything under control but this person's gonna change that honey boo that person's gonna change that which is actually good you know new things new experiences you know um you guys have a possibility to actually marry this person having kids and having a family and having a really happy and stable relationship here also you are gonna buy a, um, a house and a car with this person the first time house um, homeowners you're gonna be homeowners with this person with the 501s right here there's not gonna be any drama there's not gonna be people talking as bad as they did with your exes and there's not gonna be competition so what I mean by that is like yeah there's gonna be people that are gonna like this person but they're not gonna actually pay attention so you should not feel insecure or think that they're gonna cheat because this person only sees you for you they only have eyes for you with the justice right here sorry this person is a Libra this person is really um, quiet they don't they're, they're not really social they're kind of quiet uh, they are really um, they do things right so like i said before they don't tend to cheat they are actually honest they don't hide things it's a, actually a really healthy relationship that maybe you're not used to it it might be a little bit new for you but this person does not lie this person doesn't lie to you about you know being with somebody else they don't cheat they actually say what they mean and mean what they say uh, um this person also uh can be a little bit bumpy at times um this person could work or had work uh with law or they they have a family member that works at and laws like such as a lawyer a judge or maybe a policeman like you know not necessarily them but could be somebody in their family um this person has uh short, if it's a, a male they have short hair up to here like shortish longer hair up to here they have straight hair um this person could have like again could be light brown hair to dark blonde hair they have no beard they have no beard they have a longer nose though they have a longer nose and uh, this person looks really grumpy and really serious and i think that's one of the things that you're going to be attracted to it's like mm, i don't know about this like this person is mysterious in a way so that uh, it will attract you a little bit if it's a if it's a girl so uh she has short hair she has straight hair she has the same color uh dark um blonde hair light blonde hair I mean light brown hair uh, she's like tan I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that is a tan color person this person is pretty tall okay this person is tall is not a short person and yeah this person um, it could be like a geek you know like they have a really nice personality they actually are quite funny but you're not gonna know that until you get to know until you get to know them so there is somebody coming your way look at this this dark car something is like a soulmate connection look at that fulfillment give and take even even equal give and take you know this is a relationship that is worth waiting for is worth working with you know this is not something that you only put effort and that's it no this is a commitment this is a teamwork this is a healthy relationship and that is awesome and look at this the four of ones a huge possibility of getting married a huge possibility of having higher levels of commitment and after all the things that you've been through look you're gonna be blessed as much as you wanted it because you deserve it and you can get married on um, on April what year don't know but you could get married on April uh, this person um, might propose whenever you guys go to a beach or to a pool or something but if it's not that um, also I, I get that this person is could be Greek from uh, from Greece um, so European or European uh, family you know so um it's gonna be lit that's what i got for you for your new love and your stupid ex coming in offering you something you're not gonna take it because you know that they're just here to hurt you and you're over that so 
just for you to know that too. But he or she, which is your ex, is not important because they had their time and they did not take it. So you are more than welcome to move on, which you are doing just fine, you know? So you guys know that I always give a number. This number at the end of the reading is given to you by your angels or ancestors. Pretty much what you need to do is find the spiritual meaning of the number or you can always do a uh, spiritual meaning of such number or angel number such. And you can find extra guidance uh, maybe regarding this reading or maybe regarding, um, regarding um, anything in life that you need extra guidance on. So let's see. Ooh, almost. We wee, wee. So we got 88, 88 is your number. I also have people who like to add them up, so you can do eight plus eight, make a different number. So just let your intuition help you choose which one is the one for you. But if not, 88 could be your number. Like I said, just make sure to look it up as spiritual meaning of such a number or angel number such. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe, I mean, I'm sorry, what your angels have to say. I'm sorry if I'm looking over there, I'm just keeping an eye on my son. <laughs> He's right there, playing. Anyways, let's see. And watching TV. So we got Divine Order and Career Transition. Look at that. I, wasn't I talking about that? Ooh, ooh, am I good or what? I'm sorry. I get excited when the angels and spirit kind of like be like, in your face. She was right. Okay, never mind. So we got Divine Order here. We got everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Then we got career transition. And it says, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Did I tell you that or not? Promotion, money, not being stuck anymore. Kashin, kashin, you know? So that is awesome. So let's see what the universe has for you right now. Let's see what messages can I give you from the universe. I get, I want two cards, please and thank you. Two cards, please and thank you. One more. So we have, the first card says, attack pain, attack pain. Fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. And then we got this message here. It says, my happiness is a direct reflection of my of my level of faith in the universe. Mm, you see that? And you see this when people attack you, when people say things about you, is because they need help. Because they don't feel good about themselves. So, you see that? You should not blame yourself. It's not you. It's not you. I told you before. So before I go, I'm going to also give a prayer. This is for whoever believes in prayers. If you're not the one, please let that go. But like I said, my readings are for everybody. So let's see what prayers do I have for Sagittarius before I go. So we have today's prayer. And we got, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Again. My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. That is the card today. So, with that said, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back this week with more videos. Again, I, I do have to work as for the delay, but here I am. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the love and support, and like I said before, I'll be back. Bye.